Hello everyone, my name is Carol and welcome aboard to Knitting on the Hook. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a knitting machine. So let's get to it. So this is the Brother Knit King KH260. It is a bulky machine, also referred to as a 9mm, because of the space between the hooks on the needle bed. Above it, it's my knitting machine stand, which I had custom made because of the limited space that I have in my cabin. So the idea of the custom made uh, machine stand is similar to a drawer where when I require to use my machine, I just pull it out and once I'm done, it just goes back in. Once the cover is off the machine, we can now access the two clamps that do come with the machine so we can fasten it to the stand. Inside your accessory box, this is where you will find those clamps. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. I cannot secure the machine. Inside the cover, you will find two cast-on combs, a large one and a small one, your row counter, two wheel brushes, a left and a right one, your yarn tension unit, and your sinker plate. In order to set the sinker plate to the carriage, we need to unlock it. Set the rubber wheels into working position. and raise the handle. Before setting up the yarn tension unit, let's have a closer look. As you can see, it can accommodate two yarns. And this is the back of it, and the reason is, is those little pins between the discs. The disc's tension is controlled by the gauges on the side. A plus sign meaning tighter tension, and a minus sign meaning looser tension. So you will adjust the arrows according to the thickness of your yarn. To set up the yarn tension unit, we need to insert the end of the rod into one of the holes of the machine. Next, raise the rear yarn guide, the front guide, and the take-up springs until you hear a click. And one of the last thing we need to do is to set up the row counter on the machine. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click on the thumbs up to let me know. And if you would like to help me grow my channel and see more of these tutorials, click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching Knitting on the Hook. Bye for now.